Welcome back everyone. Today I would like to talk about how I touch every piece of paper once or as best as I can, but this time in my kitchen. I think that the area that I'm most proud of is the utensils drawer. This often becomes a sort of junk drawer for people where they have an assortment of items that they don't really use. And I used to have a drawer that looked a lot like that, but over time I've gotten this down to only those items that I use on a regular basis. I have a nice holding container for my various utensils. I have a spoon for when I cook and need to scoop what I cooked out, spatula for cooking my eggs in the morning, two spoons, a knife for cutting things up. In the back I have measuring spoons and carrot peeler. Actually the carrot peeler could go. I don't really use that, but I'll, I'll keep it. It's not getting in the way of anything. Some tongs back there and a can opener. And that's really what I use on a regular basis. I don't need anything else that, that does it. And as you can see, I can get to everything in here without moving anything else, with the exception of these two spoons. But generally speaking, if I'm going to be using one of these spoons, I'm, I'll be using the spatula. So it's not too big of a deal, but it is something that I could potentially improve on. Now, another drawer that doesn't really adhere to this principle too well, but it sort of does, is this drawer. Now, when you are looking to organize things and you have stacks of an item, what you want to try to avoid, I think as I mentioned in my last video, is having different items in the same stack because you might want to access, for example, in this stack, I might want to access these towels, but to do that, I need to move these pot holders. Now, the truth is that I use these pot holders all the time. And what I'll do is I'll change when I'm doing laundry, I'll wash those once a week, and then change out these, uh, change these dish towels to replace them. So it isn't really that big of a deal. But it is, of course, something that I could improve upon. Then I have those hot mats down there, which I almost never use which also really begs the question of why I have them. Thermometer, some matches, that's for testing batteries. These are for picking up hot items. And then I have a bunch of plastic bags. I don't really use the big ones. I use those a good bit and those a little less. And then underneath, back there are some manuals for these various appliances, which I never really need to access. So it's not a big deal that they're back there and I have to move things to get to them. So that's that. I'm not going to go under there. That needs to be cleaned. I have some, a few items in there. I can get to them without moving other things, but it's quite dirty. So it's on my list to clean that. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll show that after it's cleaned. And then in here, what do I have in here? First aid kit. On the right, I have a scale. Yeah, digital scale and some the thing on the left the blue thing is to help me open cans I have a crock pot down there in the bottom which I have not used in some time I did go through a phase where I was experimenting with cooking but I have not used that recently and here is my pantry I have some peaches and green beans, which I think I got for free, if I remember correctly, with a coupon. And it just seemed like it was good to have some backup food. And But you can see, obviously, I'm violating the principle of touching things once. Like, to get to the soup, which I it's really for a backup. I don't really eat that ever. I have the fish oil pills on top of that, so I have to move those, obviously, if I wanted to get to the soup. So that's not ideal. But this oatmeal... There is stuff behind it, but the thing that's directly behind it is another container of oatmeal. So I'm not going to access that without accessing that first. And I have some miscellaneous cooking supplies from when I went through my cooking experimentation phase. So I uh, need to clean those out, but I'm going to have to do that over time. I have some almonds here, and then that's backup water. Hopefully I don't need to use that, so it's not a big deal that I have to move almonds to get to it. 
There's more backup water over there. So overall, that's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's all right. And then I have my freezer, ice packs, ice packs like if I wanted to ice my shoulder or my elbow or something like that, some vegetables. That's on top of that, but these I never really use, so it's not a big deal. Dinners that I've cooked. And here, those things are stacked, the vegetables on the right, but I eat them all together, like when I'm making dinner, so that's fine. And the eggs are like things, so it's not a big deal that they're stacked. So you can see here, everything obviously you can get to without moving anything else on this countertop. And then down here, trash can, that's for holding my recyclables. And then I have a bunch of supplies back here. Would you, ha you can sort of get to most of these without moving anything. Sometimes I might have to move this out of the way to get at something, but I'm a little space constrained here. So that's about the best I can do. What else? Up here, have some extra supplies. Some backup food, some ramen noodles. It's pretty good. I, I can get to, I think, all this without really moving anything out of the way. Here, I think it's the same situation. These This violates the principle, obviously, but I'd never use these small plates, which I should also get rid of them, probably. And then I have a Lazy Susan for accessing the various spices that I'm not really using at this point. Like I said, I went through a cooking experimentation phase where I used it a little more. And up there I can get to those things. There is some aluminum foil back behind there that I can't get to without moving this, but I use the aluminum foil when cooking dinners and when I'm cooking dinners, I also use the cutting board. So again, not that big of a deal. Here, probably some room for improvement. I actually want to get to using more glass containers and I just have right now an assortment of random shaped containers. So I want to move away from this, but that's something uh, that'll be on my to-do list. And I, I have a lunchbox back there. I can't get to too easily, but I'm, I've been working from home. So no need to get to that. But yeah, overall, I think that covers the main areas of my kitchen. I'll uh, think about what else I want to show you all. Maybe I'll think about some other time management principles to talk about and uh, look forward to talking to all of you in the next video.